Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we're gonna understand what is the difference between the custom setting and custom metadata. But before we get into the understanding about what is the difference between these two, let's uh, have a brief recap about what is custom metadata. So if whoever is watching our video session for the first time, I would request you all to please watch our previous video session wherein we have discussed in detail like what is custom metadata, what are all the different field types, how can you use this custom metadata in SOQL or the Apex class and likewise we have created the custom metadata uh, in our dev org and also we saw how do you do the deployment of custom metadata using the chain set. So you can watch that specific video session. Let me walk you through. So you can navigate to SFDC One Stop YouTube channel, go to the videos. Here you can see that you have a video related to custom metadata demo. Then you also have a demo related to custom metadata deployment uh, session too. So you can go through these two sessions and get a clear understanding about what is custom metadata. So let's um, understand in detail about what is, I mean briefly about what is custom metadata. So this custom metadata, it is very similar to the custom objects or custom settings. So the records of custom metadata are the metadata and not the data and whenever you try to use this custom metadata it doesn't count under the soql limits so as it says here custom metadata is customizable deployable packageable and upgradable application metadata you can create a custom metadata type which defines the form of the application data and then you can build a reusable functionality that determines the behavior based on the metadata of that specific uh, type so let's understand what is custom setting so custom setting is also very similar to custom objects wherein it enables you to create custom sets of data. Here, if you recall in custom metadata, the records are also the metadata, right? Whereas in custom setting, the records are the actual data. So whenever you do the deployment of the custom settings, you have to, you can only deploy the records. However, uh, you can only uh, deploy the custom settings and if you wanted to do the deployment of the data, that is something which is not possible. So you need to upload the data after the post deployment act as a part of the post deployment activity. So that is one of the major difference. So now why do we use these uh, custom setting or custom metadata? So in order to avoid the command limits, we use this uh, custom setting or custom metadata. There is no need to use the SOQL to retrieve the data and we can minimize the use of the Salesforce object query language by the use of this custom setting. So I hope you got a brief understanding about what is custom data, custom metadata and custom setting. Now let us try to create a simple custom setting and that's how you will get to understand the major difference between these two. So I logged in into my Salesforce dev org. Here um, in the quick find box search for the custom setting. You can see that under the custom code, you have the custom settings and uh, you can go ahead and create the custom settings. So there, there are different types of custom settings. You have list and hierarchy. Let us see those. I will not go in detail about what is list and what is hierarchy. But whenever you open up this custom settings, right? Use custom settings to create, manage data at organization profiler user levels. The data is mainly stored in the application cache. That is why it is very inexpensive. This means you can access it very effic uh, efficiently without the cost of repeated queries. That is the major advantage of using the custom settings. Custom settings can be used by formula fields, visual flows, Apex and web services API. So here you can see right under the settings type, you have the list as well as the hierarchy. According to your usage, business use case, you can make use of it. Let's create a demo custom setting. I'm just giving it as same name. By default, it is selected uh, hierarchy. Visibility, whether protected or the public. If it is public, visibility of custom setting can only be set in the developer sandbox developers uh, sandbox or scratch or the visibility settings affects objects released in the managed packages Protected custom settings aren't accessible by a subscriber or but public custom settings are so uh, i prefer public mode and if um, you can give the description once you create 
Ja. So I created this and here these are two times. It defines very clearly like what is high list and hierarchy and when do you have to use it. Click on save. So you have created a custom setting. Here you can create a field. So here you can see, right, you cannot create any um, relationships. Let's create one text field. Create next. Then you can click on manage. So these are the records. What you're creating. So here you can see the location profile of the user because I'm using the hierarchy, right? So when you use the hierarchy, it will ask me which uh, one the profile you can make use of on the system. So whatever the data we are creating, this is something you may have to um, create it as a post deployment activity. So this is something which cannot be deployed using the chain sets or any third party tool. So now you must have got a clear idea about how to create a custom metadata and how to create a custom setting. So let's um, understand the difference, um, the differences between the custom metadata and the custom settings. So the custom metadata, as I was mentioning, the, it is very similar to the custom settings or custom objects, but the records in the custom metadata type are considered as the metadata rather than the data. Whereas the records in the custom settings are considered as data. So when you are using the custom metadata, it is you can easily deploy the custom metadata and its related records from one org to the another org whereas in the custom settings the data is something which cannot be deployed so you need to upload the data into the custom setting as a part of a post deployment activity while i was creating the custom settings you saw right you will not be able to create any relationships right you can create a lookup relationships between the custom metadata objects however in custom settings you cannot create any type of relationships and in custom settings, there are two types of uh, custom setting. One is list and the hierarchy. However, in the custom metadata, there are no such kind of uh, different types that we have. Whenever you are using the custom metadata type, the this particular custom metadata type are always visible in the test class. And uh, when you are using the custom setting, these uh, um, custom settings are not visible until and unless you use this see all data so these are the major differences between the custom metadata and uh, custom setting so as per your business need you can go ahead and make use of either the custom metadata or the setting you just have to remember that whenever you use the custom setting the data will not be deployed using any of the tool whether it is the uh, uh, deployment tool like chain sets or third party tool like gear set or copado you may have to upload it manually as a part of the post deployment Whereas when you are using the custom metadata, you can deploy the records as well using the deployment tool like chain sets or any other deployment tool. I hope you were able to understand the difference between the custom metadata and custom setting. Until we come up with our next video session, please do take care of yourself. Signing off, US Namrata Kariyala. Bye-bye.